Good morning viewers and subscribers. So as you can see, I have this item on my table today. Now I came into possession of this uh, fairly recently and many of you know I obviously am not a one half A engine expert by any means, but I can read and I can see what this engine is, but I really have no idea the vintage, the date that this particular Peewee engine was sold and as you can see this thing has still got the instructions on here it's new in package never been opened um, so I'm actually kinda this is one of the first times I'm actually just gonna ask my viewers and subscribers because I know you guys have a lot more knowledge there's a lot more knowledge out there than what I have what is the vintage of this engine and what should I do with it I mean <laughs> Honestly, I don't think that I have the heart to open this up and run it. And if I don't open it up and run it, there's really no point in me maintaining possession of this item. So, I don't know. I'm kind of just kind of feeling the waters there to see, you know, what the age of this engine is and maybe if anybody's interested in it. So, the other thing that's kind of odd is for a long time now I've had this little guy it's an 010 and I've never run this engine I don't think I don't think I I think what I've done with this engine is I put a couple of drops of fuel in the Venturi and then somehow I don't recall how I managed to light the glow plug and I did this and it kind of popped over but for the life of me and I've got a spring starter on here for the life of me I don't understand how you're supposed to keep let me zoom in here so you can see this better I don't see how you're supposed to... Now I know this was out long before the days of silicon fuel tubing, but here's the fuel tank connection, and then there's this the inlet here. Well, if you have a spring starter on there, first of all, this fuel tubing, and I did get this fuel tubing from Cox International in Canada. This is what they're offering. It's a silicone-based tubing now, but it doesn't stay on here so I mean it might stay on there a little bit better if I disconnect this little spring starter hook but I mean even at this angle with that off these two things don't stay connected so I have no idea how in the old days these things this little fuel line was supposed to maintain being attached especially if there was a spring starter on there I really just don't understand it so I've never really had the opportunity to run this engine now you're saying I could probably just screw it to a board and just run an external fuel tank but I still have the issue of how the hell do I keep this tubing on there I've used some other clear tubing that came with some other old uh, Cox engines nothing grips onto that so I guess I don't understand how that was ever supposed to be run so this is yet another thing that uh, I don't really know if I can't run it, about the only thing it's good for is sitting here doing this, holding it, looking at it, and maybe pulling out some of my big engines and putting them side by side and saying, hey look, nice comparison, they're really huge compared to this little thing. So I don't know. Anyway, this has been kind of a, a query video asking the vast knowledge base of viewers out there, what the hell? what should I do with these items now this was actually a gift to me so I'm probably not going to uh, part with this um, I don't know but we'll see I mean I can't use it I'm not gonna put a, ever put it on an airplane I just don't fly anything that that tiny anyway so here it is the question is out there thank you for watching